Hey, I'm Kev Kev, a score. Go back to Gravel and the penultimate episode has been going through the DLCs. Ice and Fire was all right. Give the buggies, great fun buggies to drive. Among the best vehicles to drive in Gravel. Now, Armoured Operation, as we've got lots of events to do a bit like Ice and has first up to so that race round Blue Paradise on the Oval. Uh, so we've got five military vehicles to drive or Mitchiesque vehicles to try Special Forces vehicles. There you go. Uh, so you've got the BCSXOR, 430 horsepower, four wheel drive, 2.8 litre V12 turbo engine and diesel as well. And you've got the Chevrolet Humvee, 190 horsepower, four wheel drive, 6.2 litre V8 turbo diesel engine. Then the Growler M1161LS. 332 horsepower, four wheel drive, 2.8 straight four cylinder turbo diesel engine. Seen the theme here. Then the Tom Car military, 50 horsepower, wheel wheel drive, 1.4 V8 turbo diesel engine. And finally, the Toyo Tires Toyo Ferret, 800 horsepower, four wheel drive, 6.2 litre V8 diesel engine. So apart from the V12 here, they all have, I oh know, four-cylinder turbo there as well. But it's mostly V8 diesels. They're all diesel vehicles. So what do we choose for the first event then? Oval race. We want something that has maybe four-wheel drive. We're not, we're not choosing that yet. Don't need to destroy the opposite. We just need to beat them. So maybe the Growler. We're not choosing you, Humvee. Or we could choose the BC. Now let's start with the Growler. Uh, so that was also my nickname in uni. You can figure that out. Uh, so we accelerate away. Oh, look at the Growler go. Get out of here, Toyo vehicles. The Growler's prowling. Find the back of the BC as well. I thought it can easily go over 100 miles per hour. And all down the inside. Oh, into the heavy Toyo vehicle. So you go down the inside. Oh, tyres. Just avoid them on again. The crowd are holding it inside. Oh, the crowd love it. This is like Mad Max racing, isn't it? That's all. They're racing for the fuel. Last, last of the survivors get it. As we're up to second, we dismissed the two eye tyres ferrets. Now let's go after the BC. Oh, easy. Look at the ground to go. This could punt the heaviest, the meanest, the toughest of tanks out the way. In a golf, golf cart with scaffolding. Not bad. That's all that's wide. He lost the lead. Sounds like someone's trying to sneak down the inside. No, not quite. Does it have a five speed? No, it's only a four speed. I'm sure you can bear that at 35.9. You're really losing the speed for the corner. No, it's more made for, you know, ramming. And going through corners. You go 35.6. So here comes the BC. Yeah, you back off, mate. You back off. You know what's happening. And the Growler's prowling. Is that his motto? It should be his motto, shouldn't it? Are you still hovering? Still need a good exit from this final corner. And there we go, across the line. One from one. I know he's right there. That's the power of wins by four tenths. Oh, it's the Tom Car military. Got him totally wrong. There's only three types of vehicle in that race as well. It has to be a level 76. And there's only three types of vehicle in that race. A bit surprised at that with the Tom Car military actually in second with the Growler and with the Toyo 
Tyres Ferret. Uh, next, so we've got a time attack in, and it'll be among the dunes out three. So we might need a quick vehicle in. So sorry, Growler. You kind of written off. So are you Humvee, and so are you Tom Car military car. So it's either the Ferret or the BC. Should we go with the BC? Has uh, it got to be a three forty-seven point nine eight five by? The Suki, and then we've got Jalu Karossi with a 349.782, and Kobayashi with a 351.690, and Kato with a 353, virtually flat for one star. Keep forgetting to look at the gear in before these races. And the checkpoints. So come on, BC. Let's see if you're as good as the car was in the smash up last time out. That smash up event. Actually, in Iceland, wasn't it? It was actually a bit easy. Hopefully, this is a bit harder. As no, I forgot to look at the gear and again. Top speed 133. Is that it? And sit for gear. Actually, that's pretty fast for some of the DLC cars. As fast as the buggies. Has it got two routes? Let's go for the high road. Let's go for the jump over the ship. Destroy its mast as well. Even though it's the slower way. As we saw in that race we had. But just keep it pinned in sit. That's all we're doing this race. No quarter distance not looking too good. Both of these just as quick as this for the rest of the route if I remember. So they've held some people hostage there on the right hand side, what the hell? Or they just, you know, given a desert party and they're like, yeah we're signing up, oh we're actually just here to watch cars race, there's the beer. The will be wondering. Just gotta remember the jump after this, where the gates are, there they are, or where the checkpoints are. Yeah, this is the right. This is the route we did last time, wasn't it? In the buggies. Did that in the race. That's about the halfway mark. Do we have the beat? I've already forgotten. It's looking good anyway. I'm guessing. It was 340 something, wasn't it? So yeah, it is looking good. So go get back to sit. All right. This thing doesn't slide as good as a buggy, surprisingly. We didn't go too wide there. Here's a, here we go, the massive jump, which isn't actually a massive jump. I know it's this up coming up here. Has it got a quarter of distance to go? So, you know, he's got this big build up and then... Oh, he's a bit higher in the air that occasion. Still a bit disappointing. One second, we've got five vehicles for... Is it six events? Something like that. As uh, why have he got landed that way? That makes no sense. Good old gravel physics coming. Coming to the rescue again. Or not. That's all we really have. Damaged the vehicle. Like it's steering at an angle. I hope we haven't lost it due to that mistake. This is the finish right ahead. Come on, go! So you know we're way down on top speed as well. And we got first, apparently. Yeah, we did it by four seconds in the end, so that's not too bad. The Tom Car Military came second. How overpowered is that? It's up to level 77 and a new livery for the Porsche 911 RSR Ready. As uh, so next up, we've got a lap race around the frozen peak in Mont Blanc. Short layout, three laps. So now I think it might be time to pull out the overpowered car, the Tom Car Military. 
So here we go then. Go. Actually, it was a bad idea. I mean, it didn't even like me selecting first for some reason. Let's get out of the way. Got some on your own size. There we go. We, some, we found someone our own size. No! Our own size. Look at this thing. It can take on all the different types of terrain. Thought that we should be trying to do that in this race. Let's go. How are we going to get past this bloody big lump? Oh, there we go. Down the inside. I was like, look at this thing's side. It's got style as well. It's got all you want for your military vehicle needs. And racing needs. So we go, go down the inside, not quite. Go down the inside the growler. And then we've got the Humvee in the lead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, not anymore. Look at the Tomcat go. Made mincemeat of the Humvee. Even though the Humvee is just armor plating on wheels. Oh, look at this thing maneuver. Oh, the, oh, the grace. Get this in the Andros Trophy. Back some snow tires on it. That's, oh my god, we're even skidding in a straight line. There we go. I've only got four speed. Bit disappointing. If they had five speeds, I'm not sure I could handle it. It's an absolute beast of a vehicle. This is definitely the most fun vehicle to drive out of the three so far. Like BC wasn't too bad, but then we are mostly going over dunes in Namibia, quite flat out. Uh, so what are you doing? Back out. Gravel wasn't too bad, but this Tomcat. Maybe it's because we're on the snow and ice as well. You can just kick out the rear end wherever you want to. As he's shown on multiple occasions already. So can it reach 100 miles per hour? Oh, it reached 99. Are you kidding? Let's go for the final corner. And victory! As it wins by 8 tenths ahead of the Humvee, then the Growler and the Ferret. As up to level 78 and a new livery for the 124 Rally. And now the halfway mark, the checkpoint race in Alaska into the woods. As it's going to be quite flat out, so we might need a bit of a faster vehicle. We might need the Ferret. Let's bring it out to play. As I wasn't sure we were going to be able to see over the top of this thing. But guaranteed, we can't. As get out of the way. <laughs> Oh my god. We have a six speed, do we do? We have a six speed gearbox, there we go. A bit more than most of the vehicles. And look at this thing fly! Oh god, don't fly into... What's the leader? Can't really tell. Is it the BC? This have got balancing right for once, if it is the BC. Of course, we haven't e even seen this fair re race it so far. As uh, so there is a vehicle ahead. Not that I can see. Not that I can really see. Well, it's destroyed the sign. I think we're seeing a limitation of racing in this view with this vehicle. Uh, let's get out of the way. Let's look at the leader fly ahead. As we're up to third. Oh, did someone miss a checkpoint? Thank you, Ferro Ferret. Oh, is it a Ferret leading as well? The chase is on. Are we going downhill? I can't really tell. Oh, God, we are. Yes, it is another Ferret in front. Battled the Ferrets in Alaska. Let's turn. 
been so big and heavy, it's not the best round the corners, as you would expect. I know you're seeing have the grunt in a straight line. Oh, break. That's it, use the barrier. That's it, the halfway mark, and he's taking the lead. Oh, no. Yeah, keep going. Well, this thing has no brakes. Okay, I have to brake 500 meters before even a slight dink of a corner. So if all those hairpins have been breaking as we exit the previous corner, then I would have made it through. Just about. So this vehicle is so heavy, the game can't keep up with it. It's like, wanted to be out of there. There's, oh, hello, where are we going? Going right. Come on, turn around the corner. There we go. Now you can just floor it. Oh God, no, you've got another corner coming up. There should be massive warning signs for this vehicle when a corner's coming up. Let's slow the fuck down. Corner coming. Don't know why Milestone didn't do that. That's all we got a bird. How pretty. Just one bird. All the rest have been destroyed by this vehicle, probably. That's all. Oh no, sixth gear, 135 miles per hour. As you see the finish in front. God's sake, once again, should have been looking at the gearing at the start. But it doesn't matter how to win. This looks a fair one, two, three. Yes, yes, the drinks are on the fair. It says you win by 1.2 seconds. They have the BC as well in fourth. So now we have a lap race around the floor of the stadium, the spiral. Five laps and one vehicle yet to show off. The Chevrolet Humvee. I know to be fair, it was made for trophy truck racing, which is essentially is, as you got five laps. Oh, get out of the way. Oh my God, turn. There we go. God damn you, ferret. No, you've given them a head start now. Let's go. Everyone's very slow. But again, I can really see them in front. So this Hummer go. God, I've forgotten how much I hate side by side action because physics don't actually, science actually doesn't work in gravel. It's not actually a thing. Oh, you spent oh side by side. I can actually go around the corner still. No, you're going the other way. It's like you almost come glued with your opponent. Going on to the third lap. Look at the Chevy fly. Making mincemeat of this gap to the top two. It's all a bit wide there. Around the hairpin, catching up to the Tomcat. Is that the Growlers? Oh, the Growlers! Better mistake, Tomcat round! Chevy just bulldozing through into second. Fortunately, nothing for the Tomcat to do. And we got sold out by the leader, make a mistake. There's all the Chevy wide. As you approach the final lap. All over the leader. Go over the jump. Oh, he gets into the leader. And the Chevy comes through. The Osama plating shown why it is such a beast. It has destroyed everyone in the field. Literally everyone. As it wins. And so the Chevy wins by 1.3 seconds ahead of the BC. And then we've got the Ferrets, the Growler, the Tomcat Military. I to see all of the vehicles on display in that race as to get a new livery for the Mini X Raid. And now it's on to a speed cross that race around the St. Louis circuit three laps. 
And I'm not sure we're going to punish everyone with the Chevrolet again, with the Humvee, so... Oh, what was good? Round corners, maybe the Growler. Especially as it's raining as well. Should be good with its four-wheel drive. Let's say it's just leaving vehicles for dust. As it's prowling, you know what happens. As it gets into its fellow Growler, no! Cannibal action from the Growlers. Hate crime against itself. So we've got the... Is it the Tomcat in front? Again, I can't actually see. Is that the BC? There's a growl that's just all over it. Literally all over it. Or well, sneaks down the inside. Hey, you though, ending noise, surprisingly. What has happened here? As you go through the final corner. Of course, the line it is still there. Being noticeably quieter in this race for some reason. Or it could just be the Prowler. I mean, Growler. So a bit wider in the first corner. And hard on the power. Well, I forget how wide open this course is as well in some sections. That's it just waltz in the car around the corners. Kind of drifting it round. You know, amount of steering, just making sure we make it round the corners, hitting our marks. So go get hard on the power. It's not the quickest way from the sounds of things. Like we've got folks behind us. So go into the final lap. Oh, very tight chicane at the beginning, isn't it? I don't remember it being that tight. I mean, again, I haven't driven it in a vehicle like this. Previously. Going to the right. Don't use that back end too much. In through to the left, and then one final right hand, a long one. You're going to get on the power nice and early. Almost under 50 seconds, 51.1, and a victory. Uh, so we win by 2.3 cents, we have the BC, and then we've got the another Growl, and the Humvee, and the rest. And before we head to the... Los Angeles World Coliseum, we have a championship to do. Good variety in the championship. We've got a checkpoint race in the Savannah in Namibia, layout one, and then we go to Blue Paradise and a short layout for that race. And then an elimination around the Iron Mile Outback, the Oval. So it sounds like we need a car that can actually go around corners. So, sorry, Ferret. You're probably not going to see you again, but you were fun driving you once. The medic. The Tom car, maybe? I keep calling it Tomcat, don't I? It's the Tom car military. Not the Chevy, not the Humvee. We've already driven the Growler, so that leaves the BC to try out. So here we go then, in Namibia, first of all. There's only car that I can think of out of the five that would also be able to handle all the different varieties of courses we have and event types. So if it does that. In this place against itself, Humvees. Don't see many difference apart from that. Surprisingly, that's all. Okay. Just trying out two wheels. Not as quick as four. So we've got a tight corner coming up. Oh, I do need to get it all the way down to third. Let's get out of it. Try and battle away past the Humvees. Come on, BC. So we're caught away through the race. Does we have the break after this? I keep forgetting. 
Only a slight, oh yeah, now we've got the hairpins. Remember this. Come on, BC, into the side. Let's take the lead at the third mark. And this is where we've got the advantage over the Humvees as well, or should. Actually going around corners. They're going to remove a bit of this thing. It's great. So now we're in the lead. We could comfortably pull away, but it depends again on difficulty. As we go past the ominous trees. And we've got the helicopter pilot just hovering in the middle of the racetrack again. Getting lazy. It's all massive jump, is it? Yes. A wide open plane, so I don't know why I braked there. Might allow the Humvee to get back by. No, not quite. There's got a third remaining of the race. And this BC definitely seems to be the best vehicle in this pack. Second quickest and very manoeuvrable. Does what you want it to. Which I can't say for the ferret. Not very manoeuvrable. The Humvee as well. The Tom car is fantastic. Maneuverability, but again, doesn't have the pace or the pa well, doesn't have the power. There's a great fun little scene. And again, the growler doesn't quite actually have the corner in. And it has a bit more power than the Tom car. Just not quite there in all aspects, but it's very good at or good at almost everything. So that's probably third actually behind the Tom car. Like this Tom car at the moment. Then the Growler or the Prowler. The Ferret and the Humvee. As we win by 3.6 seconds over the Humvee. Let's look at our opponents then. So I only saw Chevys, I saw Humvees and BCs. I know we've got a Growler as well. Prowler down in seventh. And then a Tom car as well in the host. It's up to level 80, new livery for the Lancer Stratos. Very colourful livery as well, it looks like. So I like the buggy DLC pack where all the cars are pretty fun to drive. It's pretty close. Special Forces pack seems to have quite major differences between the cars like and how good they are. Everything. So a bit easier to rank. Send it down the inside. Make the move for fourth. Has he got a two that races? So I do have the very long layout then. So we get into our fellow BC there. He's got the Humvees again in formation fine. One, two. At least they work. As he sneak up into second. Got a Humvee in front breaking for imagine he cornered it. So we'll try and make the move into the bridge. Oh, he's hit the bridge. Try and get the run on the outside. Can we upbreak the Humvee? We can. The Humvee, the big thing, just chickened out of it. Just slammed on the brakes out of there. Go and handle the BC. Oh, let's look at this thing fly. In the jungle. Actually, no, it is just a normal short day. I was, what the hell he got to pilot doing there? Once again, we've got the thing with the shadows as well. Which is a bit disconcerting out of the final corner. The only two laps of this. I thought it would be three, like we had with the buggies, didn't we? That's a bit disappointing. Now, maybe they did change that. 
maybe between DLC packs. It seemed maybe three laps is too long for the buggies, who knows, but yeah, I would have preferred a three lap, even though it looks like we're going to be cruising to victory again. And to the championship as well. So once again, we have the difficulty maybe a bit easier with this pack. I don't understand how backwards they got off the ice and fire pack. No, for the most part, it was easy on the buggy DLC, and then the same with this as well. Even though, once again, as you've seen, we've been trying out all the different vehicles. Just seem to pair them up for the right events again. So you launch it into the right. Oh, I do love that section in this vehicle. That was once again the shadow thing's been bloody distracting. They're trying to put the shadows off the ocean, but they do it before. Like next to the trees, I don't understand it. But I do understand it is another victory for the BC. 136 as well, monster that time. As it wins by 5.8 seconds ahead of the Humvee and the BCs. And we've got a 20 point lead. So all we need to do is finish 7th or above. When you've got Growler and Tomcar against the BC and Humvees, that might be an easy outcome. Especially when we've got an elimination race to end it. And we're already up to 7th. Well, that's a good championship. That's all the leaders crashed. Oh my god. What is going on? We're all free. We're up to. F <laughs> I've never seen that. The leader crashing in the first corner. Kind of making sure everyone just gets stacked up. Especially in the elimination race as well, where timing is crucial. That's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Oh, he's done it again! Oh, and Sigurd's driven into him! Milestone, I think you forgot to fix something. Just just put it out there. As I said, I've never seen the leader kind of do it. I've seen it lower down the order as well. That doesn't matter as much. But yeah, definitely won the championship now. Saints so are just not being an idiot. In this, like in this final in the nation race. At least we've got the kind Iron Mine layout, just the oval layout. It was one of the layouts where we had to go up and down and all over the place. Not the biggest fan of those Iron Mine layouts, even though they're a good challenge. Oh, we saw in the final league. Oh, we saw in the final race. Remember against Walker? That wasn't too bad. So once again, that bump just catching us out. Once again, it's physics in gravel as well, where it, just a tiny bump can cause the car to jump like that. But then it is an arcade game. Can't take it too seriously. Especially we've got another gold trophy. And then we've got just one event after this with this DLC pack. And this DLC pack, not as good as the buggies, I would say, overall, quality of the vehicles. Again, they are very different from the buggies. And the buggies are made to be fun and drivable. And these are made to be durable, shall we say. Especially the RMV. But the Ferret is a nice addition. Just for a wacky vehicle out there that is... As big as the sun. But handles like Jupiter or something. It doesn't really, do, it doesn't really go around the corners. So yeah, I'd say the buggy deals has been the best so far. Then Iceland. Despite as I said at the time, variation of events weren't that good. Variation events have been much better with this. Especially the championship. 
and with three different variety of events for the first time of the DLCs. Well, it's just checkpoint races last time out of the buggies. That was a bit disappointing. We're having that race is an elimination. It's been good. And we're going to end with that race as well in that Coliseum. We're going to have effectively a trophy truck race as there's the victory. Look at him drive as everyone is out of here. BC, one, two, three. And a gold trophy, even though the Humvee came second in the championship. Shame on you other BCs. The Humvee in fifth as well, then the Growl and Tom car. As level 81, Hyundai. New livery for that and the Lancia Delta S4. Level 82, actually. Wonder if you could get up to level 100 before the end of this. Probably not, as you only got one DLC pack and this race. Round the Los Angeles Mall, of course. Sim, the chicane, five laps. And we're going to end it with... Uh, so probably our second or third favourite vehicle, the Tom Car Mitri. Probably our second actually favourite be behind the BC, but third best behind the Growler. Let's here we go then. Tyre on board. And let's go. Oh my god, how's he going to make manoeuvres, this thing? Oh, easy. He can just push the fucking ferret out of the way like it's not even there. Shouldn't have worried, the Tom car. Got the outside line though for the final corner. Need to make that the inside. Keep going. Ideally should have chosen a vehicle with four wheel drive rather than just rear wheeled for this one. Let's get out of here. The Tom car's on a mission. As we get past the ferret. Up into third. So we've got the BC in front. Let's get out of here, Ferret. Got the Ferret just cannot handle the Tomka. So go towards the final corner, trying to set up that inside maneuver. Oh, he's done it. So he's only got the Growl in front now. And two laps to take the victory. Once again, really can't hear the engine though. Not sure it just automatically been turned down or something. Has Tom Car lets the Growler know it's there. No! Turn! No! You've let the BC by, you idiot! So now he's got two cars to pass in this final lap. There's one of them. So the final lap. Final corner manoeuvre down the inside. The Tom Carl wins. Not quite a sub 20 second lap. But it's a victory. So we're in by half a second ahead of the crowd of the BC in third. The Humvee in fifth and the threat down in sixth and last. As we go up to level 83 in the new livery for the Lancia Delta and Tigre. And so we have just one more DLC pack to look at. As we head to the Colorado River and an expedition. For the final 24 stars out of the 270. Hope you enjoyed the armoured operation as much as I did. As I said, maybe not as fun the vehicles as the buggies, but a couple of gems, a couple of not so gems. We'll find out if the Corridor River matches up to Iceland in the first Ice and Fire DLC pack next time. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.